This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 639, How Can We Find Hope When Our Children Are Suffering, by Allison Carmen of allisoncarmen.com. Hello, everybody. I am your host, Greg Audino, and welcome back to the show that helps you to improve your relationships. When I say relationships, I am talking dating, I'm talking marriage, and we've even got parenting posts at the end of each week. That's what we've got going on today. It's not easy to be optimistic all the time, especially when your kids are hurting or facing big troubles in their lives. So we're going to hear what my new friend on Instagram, by the way, Allison Carmen, has to say through the empowering idea of maybe. She's got great content for us, as always. So let's give it a listen and start optimizing your life. How Can We Find Hope When Our Children Are Suffering? by Allison Carmen of alisoncarmen.com. I wrote this post last year right before the school year started. My daughter was recovering from a concussion, and the idea of maybe had been a refuge for me dealing with her recovery. As all of our children are returning to school, we may be managing our children's learning issues, social anxieties, or physical ailments that are short-term or chronic, This post reminds me how facing our children's struggles with the idea of maybe helps us find hope in uncertainty and gives us more resilience to remain present and strong for their life journey. I hope it's helpful. Like most people, the key to my emotional suffering is my attachment to what I desire for my life. In the past, if the outcome to a situation wasn't clear, I became negative and worried that the worst case scenario was on its way. As many of you know, I finally found relief from much of my pain by embracing the philosophy of maybe. Like a burst of sunlight, I realized that life could unfold many ways, and maybe whatever I desired would come to fruition. Maybe something else good would happen, or maybe I would be okay no matter what. This turn of thought brought me ease and enabled me to live in the present moment. I was able to let go of my attachment to things happening one way, and found myself opening up to the entire playing field of life. However, I still struggled and suffered with uncertainty in one area of life, parenting. I am attached to my children. My desire for my children to be well, happy, and peaceful will not waver. I felt the strength of this commitment especially seven weeks ago, when my oldest daughter sustained a head injury. I couldn't stand her pain and suffering, and would have gladly taken it from her and upon myself, but of course I couldn't. My desire for her to recover was so deep, it predominated over all other thoughts. As her healing required rest, I felt her disappointment at having to quit her summer job. My heart sank as she worried whether her memory would fully return, and as she struggled to read because her eyes would not stay on the page. There was no detachment for my heart and every minute she suffered, I suffered too. I remember thinking to myself, where is maybe now when I'm so entrenched in pain and worry? Then a quote that I read a few weeks earlier came to mind. It was, Uncertainty is the refuge of hope, by Henry Frederick Emil. And in that moment, some of my pain went away. I felt some space in my breath and remembered the unknown is my friend. I always believed that my daughter would heal, but my worry was so dense at times that I couldn't feel hope. This quote and the connection between maybe and uncertainty fed my spirit with more space for all of the possibilities. Maybe her healing would take some time and that was okay. Maybe she would need therapy to heal. And maybe we would spend more time together as a family during her recovery. I found the courage to find the hope in the uncertainty that had proved so hard for me to handle. With maybe, I was able to hold my attachment to the future less tightly and with more ease and grace. I was able to accept where my daughter was in the healing process and saw that over time, life would change and there was hope for new beginnings and new opportunities for her. Now, seven weeks after her injury, my daughter started her first day of high school. Some symptoms remain, but she is expected to make a full recovery. I feel so grateful and blessed in this moment and hopeful for her future. I realize that my emotional hook to my children's well-being is a tricky place in my search for joy and peace in life. 
yet at least with maybe, I can hold it in a wider place where there is more room for change, hope, and possibility through the daily challenges of parenting. We all have tough moments in parenting. Every parent would take all the pain and disappointment from their children in a minute as their own. Unfortunately, as much as we feel their pain with them, we can't take it from them. But when we realize that most of these painful moments still offer each of us the hope that maybe everything will be okay, our suffering lessens. With maybe, more air enters into the room to help us breathe and get through the challenging times. It gives a more grounded perspective for us and our children for moving forward. My heart opens up to every parent trying to do the best today for their child. I hope maybe can ease your pain and help you remember that life will keep changing and so much is possible for each of our children. You just listened to the post titled, How Can We Find Hope When Our Children Are Suffering? by Allison Carmen of AllisonCarmen.com. You know, guys, on both Optimal Relationships Daily and Optimal Living Advice, there's a lot of talk about the immense value of therapy. And one of the most convenient ways to get therapy, the future of therapy really, is BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers online counseling and therapy with licensed therapists from wherever you are and around your schedule. They have counselors specializing in depression, stress, anxiety, self-esteem, anger, grief, and so much more. And they make it super convenient in that there are four communication modes. There's text, there's chat, phone, and video. Not to mention it's available on desktop, mobile web, Android, and iOS apps. Anything you share is confidential, and it is not a crisis line. This is professional counseling and therapy with licensed therapists, which is not only important, but also affordable, as BetterHelp has financial aid available. As a matter of fact, Optimal Relationships Daily listeners get 10% off the first month with discount code ORD. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com slash ORD. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with the counselor you'll love. That's betterhelp.com slash ORD. And I have that linked in this episode's description. Thanks to Allison for letting us share this profound story. This philosophy of maybe strikes me as being maybe a little bit, maybe again, strikes me as being maybe a little bit too uh, woo-woo for people, if you will. But as someone who's often suspicious of that kind of stuff myself, I want to reassure everyone how much truth there actually is in this. Finding hopeful maybes in what looks to be a long road in recovery for your daughter is not blind optimism. It's simply acknowledging potential realities, of which there are countless. Anyone seeking to be realistic about the way life is, especially in difficult times such as this one, is doing themselves a disservice if they aren't contemplating the positive as well as the negative. So, thanks to you all, devoted listeners, for making it this far and joining me today. I will see you tomorrow for the final episode of the week, where your optimal life awaits. <laughs>